so you're at State Farm, and um, so I'm gonna do a video blog. We haven't even gotten to like catch up because um, it seems like some things have happened. We were having uh, a nice conversation. Here, I'm gonna take you someplace different. You know, we're gonna do a video blog someplace different today. Um, here, I'm I'm going up the steps. Um, these are the steps up into the loft. And there's a baby gate there because uh, the pugs in the middle of the night, they like to go up there and go doo doo all over my mats. And I like to do, you know, floor exercises like crunches and push ups. And I don't like putting my face in doo doo. So hold on, see, gotta do the step over, uh, which is an absolute bitch, by the way, if you've done like squats uh, on the machine. Um, that's the machine. And that's how it does squats. You know, I'll get a side view of it. Um, so you can see how it would do squats. And actually it's in the squat position right now. So like, I am, I'm always very fearful of um, going downstairs every time uh, I do squats because like, I think my legs are gonna give out and I'm gonna fall down the stairs and I'm gonna crack open my skull Curvonicus style. So, um, but yeah, this is the loft. Uh, Nothing special. Um, the reason why I'm showing you it, and that's their, their sun cover, and that's the elliptical machine, by the way. Um, the reason why I'm showing you it is because, like, I cannot wait for winter. Um, or not even winter, fall, autumn. Like, because I absolutely love coming up here in autumn and just kind of, like, perching, like, right here. You can see, <laughs> you can see how my mom's medicine ball, or not medicine ball, but how her exercise ball is being used right now. It is a backrest. It's a prop, so which you know you can sit um, by the window here. Let's sit by the window. We are sitting by the window. See, this is this is how you sit. Uh, I don't know if you know, but like, you know, the whole sitting thing. And so like, I can't wait until December, uh, or more like October. Like, I can't wait till October because, like, it'll get cool enough to where you can actually, like, hang out in the loft. And and I'll sit here and I'll just, like, look out. Here, wait for the light to adjust. And there's my view, you know. Um, and so I'll just, like, look out the window and just sit up here and, like, ponder and write. And, and do things that are very kind of, like, cliche as it pertains to authors. Um, so, you know. Uh... Oh, and I'll, I'll share something with you too. When you come up here to the loft, um, come up the steps, we came up the steps, and, and you get to here, like right here, like there's the railing, you know, all the way down. But, and I always look over the railing, and you know, you can see the living room and the couch, and the couch in the living room. And I always like want to like, you know, step over like so, and just like jump off there onto the couch. Um, have not done it yet. Uh, I want to very badly. Like honestly, like it's almost kind of like a lemming urge to do so. Um, to kind of like step over and just like whee, you know leap off of the uh, the railing. But um, I don't think it would be a smart idea. Like because it would probably hurt a lot because that couch is not very cushy. So it probably wouldn't break my fall. Either that or like, this is what I also think of. Like you see the, uh, the trusses right there, the beams. I always think about like going over the railing and then jumping up and like holding onto a beam and then falling down. Um, so like, you know, uh, it's, it's partly the reason why I hate heights uh, is because anytime I'm on like anything that's above five feet in the air, I think about flinging myself off of it. So it's a weird kind of like suicidal kind of brain image thing. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I was going to talk about other things, like talk about how um, Jared, you know, is doing a power play right now with you, or he did a power play this morning with you, and like how it was a really kind of like overt power play, like it wasn't even done subtly. And I was gonna talk about that, but to be honest with you, I'll talk about that when we talk on the phone. I just kind of like, and I don't mean to like draw this into a comparison, but I feel like I should touch some sort of base as it pertains to emotions and us, because like that's partly the reason why I started the video blog was because like I could connect to you with my emotions, so I try to include them a lot when we do the video blogs. Um, and 
I mean, you know me, and you know that like I'm not a big game player. I will never do that. Uh, straight up, and like you know, you can make the 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 whole kind of like uh, statement that like, oh, you don't know what the future's gonna hold. You don't know how you're gonna react. You don't know how like, oh, the future might put you in this situation. I will never do that. I will never make so desperate and so kind of like, um, you know, kind of a power bitch move like that, you know? And I will never be desperate to the point in which I need to resort on using your own emotions against you in order to get an emotional response out of you. Um, like, and if it ever comes to that point, then, you know, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be in more serious trouble than, you know, the, the implementation of using that kind of like disgustingly overt power play. Um, so uh, rest assured that I will never do that to you. Just won't.